Welcome back, fitness friends. I'm Stacy, and I am so happy to have you join me for an aqua routine. Today, we are using either one large pool noodle or two small ones or even just one small one. So if you're looking for a little extra intensity in your workout today, you may want a larger noodle. Um, but if you don't have that, feel free to double up two of the smaller ones at some point, especially if we lean into it and to get that upper body, get a good toning. All right, go put that noodle to the side. Make sure you have some water, some space around you to move around, and let's get ready with that warm-up. Okay, so no equipment necessary for that warm-up because I want to get your body going and those hands ready before we put the equipment into our hands. So give me some big shoulder rolls here, up, back, and down. Give me like maybe two or three of them. Nice, big, strong shoulder rolls. And after that, let's start moving those feet, bring it into a gentle jog. So remember, posture is really important as you jog or do any of your movements today. Try to keep those tummies tucked in. Try to keep your shoulders back and down and try to get those heels to the bottom of the floor as you're moving. So really tall posture and then start pumping those arms forward. Now remember, when you are jogging, you have the option of fists, so punching or a palm. So palms are gonna be a little bit more resistance, but know that they are also gonna put a little bit more effort into those wrists. So if you have bad wrists, those fists may be your option today. Keep that jog going a little bit more. Maybe make it a little bit faster, a little bit stronger now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Good job. Now take those feet out a little bit wider. Keep those punches going. Keep those legs going. Perfect. Now let's take those feet and bring them up behind you as you're jogging. Bring your hands to your hips and bring the feet up behind you. I call these butt kickers. Alternating bring right and left heels up behind you. We're just getting those legs nice and warm. Remember that posture still is important. Now give me about three, two. Now bring those knees up in front, knees up in front. So we're jogging now with those knees up. Again, try to get those heels down. Don't stand those tippy toes. Alternate hands up and down for some bicep triceps on the sides. Palm up, palm down as you're jogging. Yeah, and those knees are still coming up real strong, right? A little bit more. Wonderful, take those feet out a little bit wider, jog them out nice and wide. Now a little punching to the floor, punching down with those wide jogs, getting those hips to open up a bit, starting those shoulders. And four, three. Two, well, let's go ahead and plant those feet. Plant them down. Take your hands out to a T-shape. Now, I just want you to start reaching through your body. Reach to the right and to the left. Just stretch your sides. Yeah, feel the body wanting to get a little bit more each time. Stretching through. Wonderful. Let's take these into some pendulums to start picking up the foot as you hop from side to side. Keep the feet wide. That's what a pendulum is. It's like a tick-tock motion side to side. Yep, bigger reaches and we're hopping now once you got it. Yeah, reach those fingers out there. Lift those hips even more. Just a few more. Then go ahead and plant those feet, but stay with them wide. One hand comes into the hip, the other hand's gonna come across in a figure eight pattern. Figure eight and open it up. Now while I'm doing this, and I'm doing a sideways figure eight, that is, as I do it, I am trying to pivot my hips. My hips are turning, my heel lifts. Hips turn and the heel is lifting. My feet aren't totally glued to the floor because we want that range of motion going through the whole body. Getting the shoulders all ready here. About three more, and then we'll switch those sides. Return to that center, take the other hand, bring it across, that nice big figure eight both ways. Yeah, scooping bigger. And you're gonna notice when we do these one-sided movements that one side might be a little stickier or not as easy. So never fear, that's how a lot of bodies are. 
So if you feel that, you just take it to where you feel comfortable on that side. Give me about four more. Make sure it's all open up on that side. Move those hips. And then let's take it and just turn to one direction, whatever direction you're facing. Get yourself ready for a rocking horse. Remember, a rocking horse, knee up, then hamstring curl in the back. Knee up, I call them butt kickers because let's kick some butt today, right? Knee up, butt kick it. You got it. Now there's a little lean involved in it, so keep that lean going with me here. And then let's open and close those arms. Open and close, a close and an open, a crisscross and an open. Yeah, we want the whole body getting a little bit of water now, so you should be feeling a little bit more wet, getting your warmth in the body going as well. And let's go for four, three, two. Now stay here in that stagger stance. Bring the heel up behind you. Just bring it up into a butt kicker only on that one leg. Give me some running arms. Yeah, let's get those legs really, really ready. Now you can even do a little bounding here. Your foot might not stay planted to the floor, and that's what that means. Give me four, three, two. Hard part here, stay up at the top. Rotate your ankle around in a circle. Yep, hard to keep that balance sometimes. Use your hands to skull the water. Perfect, give me some circles in all both directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. Get them all ready. Super job. Put it down, take it to the other side. Give me those rocking horses this time, a reach and pull. So a lean, knee up, hamstring curl or butt kicker in the back. Reach and pull, pull back with those wide elbows. Use the hands, let's get them ready for our work that's gonna happen here. So grab and pull back, grab and pull back. When you move those hands, we get the blood flowing into the fingers. And here we're gonna get them ready because we're gonna use our tools here in just a moment. Let's go for four, three. Plant the feet at the bottom here. Just that back leg, bring it up behind you for your butt kicker. You're gonna do some good butt kicking with me today, right? We are gonna push ourselves. We're gonna give ourselves that extra little bit of challenge today, right? We wanna come out of our comfort level a little bit. We're gonna kick some butt, right? Yeah, you got it. Give me four, three, two. Now stay up on this next one, stay up. Skull the water and give me some circles with those ankles. And again, a few in each direction is a really good way to get those ankles ready to go. And how about four, three, two. Bring it back in, widen up those feet. So bring it up the right and the left, okay? Up right, up left. Wonderful, now push it down. Push it down on the right, push it down on the left. So I'm just bringing my hands on both sides of my legs as I push down. You're still gonna see some high knees today, so I wanna make sure those knees are all ready and we are getting that feeling started, right? Give me about four more here. Here's four, three. Last one. Take those feet into a wide stance. Bring those arms out. Now we're going to take them into jacks or jills and we're gonna bring them in. A little clap together at the bottom with the feet together. Open them up to the sides. Clap and open. We're clapping down for this first set. Now make sure as you bring those arms down, we keep the shoulders relaxed, tummies in real strong. And let's go four more. Four, three. Last one, stay wide. Now let's bring the knee across. We're gonna try to tap right, left. So we're gonna tap the opposite knee with the hand. So opposites, reach across, tap the knee, bring it back, tap the knee. Opposite sides of the body, doing a little rotation for your middle. Give me four more, here's four. Last one. And then bring those hands out wide, widen up those feet, one more set of jacks. This time, let's clap them in the front. So we're gonna bring them in, put the hands together. On the open, push the arms out. So we're gonna bring the palms in, push the palms out. In, push out. In, 
push out. So turning the palms away and pulling those palms in, you're gonna start feeling it a little bit more. Just a few more. Let's go four, three, two, and last one. Take it to one side. We're gonna do just a little teapot side bend here. You're gonna reach down and up. Widen up the feet, reach down to the sides. Option to keep your hand on the hip on the other side or the head. Know that you always have your options. I like to give you lots of suggestions so this workout fits you as best as I can. One more. Take it to the other side. Same thing. Just reach towards the pull bottom. Just a bend to the side. That's it. How about four more here? Last one. Perfect. And let's just do some little bit of a squat here. So not too deep. If you're in really deep water, you might just need to do a little knee bend. If you're in shallower water, you can go deeper. Just bring the shoulders. Make sure you've got acclimated to the water. The shoulders have felt the water. Because until those shoulders actually get in the water, ooh, burr sometimes, right? So get them in there. Just knee bend down and up. Perfect. And four, three, last one. Wonderful. Hands in front. A big crisscross around your tummy. Open them up, stretch it out. Bring those hands in, crisscross the arms. Open the tummy up. You got it. One more time. Crisscross and open. All right, a few circles with those wrists, both directions. Grab yourself a nice big drink of water and come on back. We are getting ready to go into our workout with the noodle. So again, either two noodles for a little extra resistance if they get cumbersome, one noodle will work. And if you have that bigger one, maybe try it today. You know, you may be stronger than you think. All right, I'll see you in just a moment. Are you super excited to get started? Okay, now remember when you're using your noodle today, we're gonna just apply pressure to it. We're not giving it a death grip and really hurting our hands. It's a, a gentle pressure on it. You may be pushing on it at times too. So let those fingers have a rest every once in a while. And also those wrist circles are also a good way to give your body a rest when you need it. And those shoulders always back and down and those tummies tucked. All right, let's get started. The very first thing I want you to do is start with some high knees. Think about those jogs. You're going alternating legs, high knees. We're getting each of those feet to land with that feet with the heels down when we come here, right? So tall posture, heels down, jogging. So you're gonna feel some coming up out of the water. That's a good thing. It means you're getting those knees up nice and high. Now open up those arms a little wider. Give me some push and pulls, push and pull. Yep. And now you might not be able to get as high when you start those push and pulls, especially if you got a big old noodle like I do, because this noodle wants to take me with it. So I'm gonna control my jog here. Use the power in your upper body to push and pull the noodle. A little bit more submersed for some more resistance though. Perfect, about four, three, two, Last one, jog it out, bring the knees down a little bit. Now take the heels up behind you, take it into your butt kicker. Heels up behind, you got it. Already coming up strong, come on you guys, like, give me a little more there. Wonderful, now we're gonna do a push plunge. So as we're gonna go and bring those heels up, start plunging it down, plunge and up, plunge and up. You got it, push it to the floor, plunge it down there. Now when you push down, you're gonna go a little higher there, yep. You got that extra resistance, the buoyancy of the noodle pushing you up. But still give me those butt kicks. Wide arms here, strong push down. Shoulders are down, right? Super job, everybody. Hang in there a little longer. How about two more each leg? Bring it down, jog it out. So bring it down to a recovery here. When you come to recovery, you can always let the hands go for a moment. The little jog. You always want to keep moving in your pull. 
in between your movements of some kind of movement, a little movement, because we don't want to get cold. We want the muscles to stay warm, especially as the temperatures start getting cooler soon, right? Okay, now let's get ready for some roundhousing knees. These ones are my favorite because we're going to use the core, we're going to use those legs, we can get your glutes real good. It's a really good all-around exercise. Take it to a noodle on the top of the surface. Step back your one foot. Get the noodle opposite way from you. You're going to bring it across, knee up, and then tap down real big behind you. A knee up, tap back, knee. Now, if your noodle is really big and bulky and you don't like scooping it across the water, you can bring it here and still bring it across for the rotation. That's less resistance. But I'm looking for a little more today from you. So try to really bring it across that water, even a little bit submerged halfway down there. Repeat that knee, keep going. Yeah, six and five. Last one. Now, stay here. We're gonna bring the feet up behind you. We'll get the other side in a moment. So, thinking about long legs, you're gonna start bringing up right and left behind you. You're just gonna bound from foot to foot. Option to take it slower if you want, so you're gonna start going a little faster. Use the noodle just to support you. And again, that noodle can be however you need it, as long as the shoulders are relaxed. So long legs alternating right behind you. Great job, hang in there. Let's go, six, five. Last two, bring it on in. Okay, get ready for those other side knee repeaters but we're doing it with the roundhouse in rotation. So get your noodle out in that rainbow shape on the top or upright, your choice. Step back your other foot. I always just face the other direction, so I always use my front foot. That way I always remember what side I'm on. When you're ready, bring it across, drive the knee, tap down the foot. And when you tap down, try to tap down gently there. So we have to really get that balance working, right? Tap it down gentle, bring up that knee forcefully up. And you got about six more coming here. So you're six and five. Last one. Perfect. Bring that noodle back out in front of you. Now remember the legs behind you. We're going back there. Take those arms, plunge it down a little bit in front of you. Option to stay at the top, of course. Otherwise, bring it down there. Alternate those feet behind you. Alternate, kicking long legs behind you. Now, I have a big rear end, so this likes to splash off my butt and get my hair wet, and you might have that same problem. So don't worry if you get your hair wet. This is not a beauty contest, right? We're here to work, to challenge, and to kick that butt, right? So let's see some splashing happening. Woo! Breathe strong, guys. Keep those shoulders relaxed. You got it. You got six, five, four, Last one, take it to a jog. How are you feeling? Doing good so far? Give us the hands just a little rest. We haven't done a lot with the hands just yet, but that grabbing alone, you're gonna feel a little bit of it. Okay, let's do some biceps, triceps work. Now, my noodle's big, so these are gonna be more challenging. You have a bicep, which is just a push down, a bend to an extent elbow. So, when you're ready, we're gonna take it, you're gonna extend the elbows down and then you're gonna bend them. Now try to keep it under the water the whole time without coming up at the top. And I know once we start moving, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but once you're ready, give me a butt kicker jog with these. You got it. Yeah, when you keep it under the water and it doesn't break the surface, more tension there, you have to have more control. So it's a little bit more challenging and then we don't break that surface, so it's not as rough on our joints, right? Pushing it down, come on. Heels up strong behind. And if that noodle is really big like mine, it won't go very fast, but you're gonna be feeling it, right? Give me four, three, two. Bring it on in, walk those feet nice and wide. And it's a walk or a jog wide. Get your noodle ready. You're gonna walk your hands out a little bit wider. You may wanna bring them in more when you see what we do with the rotation in a moment, but feel free to keep them wide. You're gonna echo at the ends. Put the feet to the floor. 
We're going to do a rotation. You want to take the back end, pretend the tail dragging along. Drag it along. As you rotate, drag along the back side. Rotate, drag along the back side. The more of the noodle, you can get down in the water on that back there to drag it along, the more resistance you're gonna have with these, right? And we wanna feel our sides getting stronger, right? That's what I wanna feel. That's why I'm doing these too. So push it down, drag it along, rotate, pivot those hips. Pretty awesome. Yep, those feet are not staying planted. A few more. This last one, and sideways. So turn sideways. Get ready for our rocking horses. Now on these rocking horses, we're just gonna take the noodle, we're gonna put it at your chest just Keep here. it tucked into you right here. Now, put your right foot forward, left foot behind you. Start with a tip and an up, a tip and up. And again, you can come down lower under the armpits here if you need to, because whatever it feels right for you, because I don't want you to get too splashed. Yeah, splashing is good, but who wants it all over their face, right? So wherever feels good, push it there. We want the resistance on the push down. Same rocking horse we did before, but now we have resistance pushing down. So therefore, we're working that core. So solid up your middle as you push down. Breathe through these. Give me four more, four, three, two, last one. Now, just take it over to the one side right here. We're gonna go into some hip lifts. This noodle here is nice and big, so I can go ahead and lean into it real strong. Those other noodles may not be as strong to support you, so feel free to use the wall. Once you come into those hip lifts, you're just gonna lift the outside leg over here, lifting and lowering. Now, not just lifting, we tighten up the middle, we squeeze the sides of your glutes and hips, and we put the toes forward or even towards the floor. We don't want our toes out in our neighbor's yard. We want them in at the TV, whatever you're looking at, or even down at your pool floor. We wanna get the whole glute area, shapely hips and glutes, and they help you with your walking path. So when you're walking straight, those hips have a lot to do with it because you have strong hips keeping you moving forward, right? Give me those lifts, keep them going. Yeah, and again, think about that real good breathing. Strong breath really will help you to get these exercises really, really well. Gives you the energy to keep on moving, and it keeps your blood pressure at a good place, and that's what we're looking for. Give me about four more. I want you to feel those hips. Now, if you feel them way too much, you always take that range of motion lower, or you stop when you feel it too much, right? Last one here. Now, take it to the other side. We're going to those rocking horses. We're on the other leg. Again, you can keep it up against your chest if you have a smaller noodle. If you have a bigger noodle, you might want it at the top of the water when you get ready. The foot in front is going to do that knee lift. The foot in the back is going to do that butt kicker. And more push down with the noodle. My hands are on there pushing it down, giving me the extra core work that I'm looking for today. Push it strong. Stay tall with that posture as you push. Yeah, are you having fun with this one? Yeah, you can say yes, but keep your mouth closed a little bit. We don't want any water flying in there, right? Yep, give me four more. Here's four, three, last one. Bring it in, come to the side. We're going to those hip abductions. An abduction is just a leg lift to the side. It's just a fancy word, so if you hear it, just know it's a leg lift to the side anchor in make sure you're tall in this side over here that's standing take the leg out to the side lift and lower remember what I said before toes forward or in towards the floor a little ankle down yep once you take those toes and you actually move them a little bit you start noticing I actually feel it now right yeah breathe it out hang in there we have some more coming do you feel the hips yet? Give me about four more on that side. Last one. All right, bring those feet into a staggered stance. This one's gonna be a little bit more upper body work. 
But we want to keep the feet to the floor because that way we can get those upper bodies going even more. So if you're in deeper water, maybe more challenging. So I'm in a little bit less deep here for this one. And my noodle's a little big, so it may be more, right? Shoulders back and down, tuck in my tummies, big stagger stance, even a little wide on that stagger. Uh, down, up, a big old circle motion. I'm a doing a nice big circular rotation with my noodle down up in a circle. Woo, already feeling it. Yeah, once you get it going, go a little faster. Try to stay planted to the floor best you can. Yeah, you're feeling everything. I feel my tummy having to hold me tight here. I feel my arms moving, my shoulders are grooving. You got it. Little bit of everything. Here's four more, here's four. Three, two, and last one. Walk it out, you guys. Give me some jogging. Perfect, give those hands a little shake for a moment. Let's get working on some knees and some core. And this one's gonna go overhead. Let's so move to our next exercise. We're gonna get some side crunching going here. So we're gonna work on those sides. So once you're ready, bring those feet to a little bit wider of a stance. I'm in shallower water, in deeper water. This one may be really challenging. So try to be in shallow water for this one. Noodles coming over my head. My hands are somewhat wide. Shoulders relaxed and down. I'm gonna tip to the right side and back up. As I tip, I can stay firmly planted to the ground doing my side bends, right? Now, if I want more out of this one, I'm gonna do a knee crunch and that knee crunch is coming up on the side. Let's bring the noodle down to meet our knee. Hello, knee. You got it. Hello, sides of the body. Nice, strong crunch. Breathe it out. Yep, so I'm tucking that knee up and it's outward a little bit so I can really feel my hips here and my shoulders are relaxed. That noodle gives me the extra resistance in the upper body. And four, three, two, bring it in, reset the shoulders, get yourself set up, we're going to the other side. So again, widen up those feet, you can keep them planted. If you want those hands in a little bit more or open, take and do what feels right to you. It's taking it to the side and back up trying to touch the noodle almost to the water if you can, based on where those hands are planted. Knee up, knee up. All right, now when you do these, most important thing is you gotta put on a nice big smile, right? Have fun, especially if you're working out with your friends. It makes them feel that much more better, right? You feel like, well, my friends are smiling at me, they're having a good time, so am I. It makes everything such a lovely day, right? You got it, hang in there, we got four here. And three. Last one, bring it back in. Let's go back to some knees. Now these ones are gonna be knees with a push behind. We're gonna get those glutes again. I know a lot of you ladies out there have asked for some glutes work and let's get those high knees nice and strong. So hold that noodle in front of you, put one foot planted to the floor. Again, I use my front leg, so that's how you know what foot I am on. And once you're up, you pull that knee in, tuck it in, push your foot behind you as if you're giving the kick to the wall. And then pull that knee in, kick it away. Tuck everything in, kick, push the foot to the side of the pool. You got it, big push. Tuck, push. Now only are we getting those glute muscles now we're getting the core muscles because we're doing that big, strong tuck in the center, plus working that balance. So really strong exercise here. Push it through. Nice flat foot like you're stomping. Stomp it out. Yeah, let's give you five on that side. You got five. Four. Last one. Bring it in, we're taking it to a pendulum, then we'll hit the other side. So let's get those feet nice and wide. And again, hopping right, left foot with a wide foot pattern, wide feet. Once you're there, shoot that noodle opposite side of you. Shoot it right, shoot it left. Have fun shooting your noodle side side. Yep, if you have somebody next to you, you might be having a fun time tapping noodles together with this one, right? Say hello, neighbor. It's always fun working out in the pool with your friends, isn't it? That's why I like working out with you. You guys 
give me the motivation to keep on moving, have fun, working out in my pool. And let's go four, three. Last one here. Bring those feet in, get ready for those kicks behind. Again, set it up for the noodle in front of you. Plant your foot, get your other foot, tuck the knee in, push it behind you, squeeze your bottom, your whole foot, it's like you're stomping your wall. Tuck it in, push back, plant that foot in, push back. Big exhale as you push back, push it back, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Yeah, be serious about your exercise here. We got this. I'm stomping and I'm doing a good job of it. And four, three. Last one, bring it in. All right, a little tricep work. We're gonna try to take that noodle behind your back. So try to finagle it there, bring it to your sides. This one, make sure your shoulders are down. Don't have them up too high, especially that noodle's real big, not up here. Noodle are down, so get them in there, down by your sides. All right, so now once you have your noodle there, Palms are facing down, shoulders are relaxed. Tricep press downs. Now take it into a stagger stance. You're gonna push it down to the floor. We're gonna extend those elbows and bend the elbows. Extend and bend, extend and bend. And I want you to go fast, fast, fast. Feel your arms getting stronger. Yeah, we're looking for strong arms. Triceps especially for women, right? We like our under, those arms to be nice and firm so they look good when we wear our swimsuits and our tank tops. Right, yep, push it down, push it down. Don't break the surface, keep it under the water. And four, three, two. Yeah, feel those arms working. Okay, give them a little rest. All right, this next one, we're gonna take it to some jack legs. We haven't done any jacks yet, but all it is is a leg out and a leg in, and they go together. And just like a jumping jack, I also call them the Jill too, because Jack or Jill, whatever you like better. And come on down into those legs. Give me a suspended one if you can. So that means you're gonna try to sink into your noodles. So you're barely touching that bottom. Once you're there, hop the legs out, hop the legs in, hop the legs out. Now, to not touch the bottom so much, you're gonna tuck the legs in and then pop them out to the wide. Tuck and pop. You got it. Barely touching down there because we're submersed. We're trying to keep from touching the floor too much. Yeah, now if that's too much for you and you wanna stay higher and make that jump all the way out and in, go right for it, feel free to do so. And if you wanna take it completely out and go out and in without touching the floor at all, oh my gosh, go for it too. Cause we always need the extra little bit to push us over the top into that challenging spot, right? So if you got the ability to go to a completely suspended one, I'd love to see it. Out and in, breathe it out. Have fun with this one. Feel those legs getting stronger, stronger. And can you give me about 10 seconds? I'm gonna give you a little longer on this one because I think you can do it. And five, four, three, two. Bring it on in, back to those triceps. Yeah, that's what I said, triceps. Bring your hands, palms back to your sides. Best tall posture, elbows are bent at your sides too. Remember, it's a push down and up. A push down and up. Now, get your stagger feet down and up quick. Down and up. Woo. Breathe, pump, 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 right? Feel it happening. Yeah. I love to feel my muscles. I don't like to feel when they hurt, but I like to feel them growing and doing what they need to do. So if you're feeling hurt right now, then you're not doing it right. So make sure you reset your posture and retry. But that little bit of, oh boy, I feel it. That's a good thing, right? Keep it going. And we got six, five, four, and rest it. Okay, we're going back to suspended. This time, put the noodle in front of you. And it's gonna be ski legs. We're gonna bring up that cardio again. Hold that noodle under the armpits, however feels right to you. And your ski legs are just legs in opposition, right forward and left forward. And try to take a nice long stride first. Let's start with a stride that's long. So with a long stride, hop, right, left, into a ski. Just give me that good, strong ski. Think about your posture. Think about the shoulders relaxed because we don't want the noodle pushing that shoulder up at all. 
Okay, did you get your ski on? Now, can you sink in more and take it to more suspended? Oh boy. So don't touch the bottom, keep your feet going. Keep going, keep going. Hang in there. You got it. Both directions, wide ski or a quick smaller ski with bent knees, however you need to. You should be feeling it again. And if you need to still touch bottom, go ahead, you can. But like I said, here's your challenge. You gotta have those challenges. We all need a challenge. And give me five, four. Are you breathing heavier yet? Last two, last one. Take a little rest break. Grab a sip of water, come on back. We're gonna do some more fun here in just a moment. Are you ready for more? Okay, now let's get that noodle in front of us, shoulders relaxed and down. We are gonna have it about, you know, body width here with those hands on your noodle. You're gonna plunge it down into the water. You're not locking your elbows, but you're keeping them pretty much, you know, almost locked because we have the shoulders relaxed there and the noodles down under the water. Now, once it's there and I have an arm's length down, I'm gonna kind of come into more of a plank. So I have a little lean forward, tighten up my middle, and we're in our plank already. Now, if there's other people in the pool, this one's very challenging because that noodle is all over the place, right? So if you need to put the wall near you to help support you, please do. Once you're there, we're gonna bring those knees in. So you're gonna take a right, a left, and we're gonna jog it. Now on this one, it's really hard to get your heels down because we're in a slight lean forward. So please don't worry about it for this one so much. We'll go back to it in just a moment, but get those knees in. It's a mountain climber. Knees in tucks, and we're jogging those knees. You got it. Hang in there. Keep that noodle down. Try to keep hips strong and solid forward. And give me five, four, three. You got it. Two. Bring it in, plant those feet. Now, you can have them staggered or you can have an athletic stance, whatever works for you. Now, know this noodle, where we have it, we wanna raise it to the surface and then pull it back down. Oh yeah, bring it up. Exhale, push it back down to the floor. Inhale it up, push it back down. Don't let that center of the noodle break your surface if you can. Whoa, big noodle, big effort, push it down. Now, if you have two noodles, you're feeling the same thing there too. And if you have one noodle, don't worry. You can always progress to two and maybe two may never be in your future. That's okay too, right? Big push it down. These are the fronts of your shoulders that we're making them strong. You got it. Give me four. Last one. Wonderful, bring it in. Now let's put that noodle back at the top of the water, give his hands a little rest in those wrists. Now we're gonna go back into that plank because I think planks are super important and I know a lot of people don't like planks on the land. So water planks are a little bit more fun because we're not out there in the gym or wherever and hurting our wrists and doing all that. So I like the water planks and they also give you a little bit more work because again, if you have a busy pool or you have any waves going on, a little bit more challenging. So. Take your hands out a little bit wider. We're gonna work triceps, shoulders back and down. Walk your feet out a little wide. Note that as we bring those feet in, it's gonna be more challenging, so start wide. Once you're there, hands out in front of you and plunge them down. I'm going into my plank, okay? Adjust your hands, get that plank happening. So plank means solid core, shoulders relaxed, put a little squeeze on the glutes. Your toes are just barely touching the floor there. And then what I want you to do, you either hang here based off of how you are with the pool, the waves and all that, or bend your elbows up to the surface, push them to the floor. Bend and push them down. Woohoo, these are planks with a tricep push. So you're doing a push up here. Aren't these so much better than the gym? I like these so much better than being out on land. Let me turn to the side here so you can see me. I'm out, my legs extended behind me. Pushing that noodle down and up. Big, strong exhale as you push that noodle to the floor. You got it. 
And the more you have that noodle out in front of you, make sure the shoulders are underneath you because you don't want the shoulders way out in front of you, like way out here trying to do it. Keep them underneath you, push them down. How's your belly tucked in? It'll really help with this one. Okay, now one more. Stay at the bottom, push it down, hold it there. Keep your hands wide. Now, one at a time, take a right foot off the bottom of the floor. Woo! Put it back down. Take that left foot off the floor. Long legs, just lifting. And we're going slow because we're trying to keep that plank the whole time. You don't want your center to move. But this is working on that core. We're going to get those planks going, alternating those feet. Just squeeze your glute. Come on. Keep your top solid and strong. Shoulders relaxed. Hang in there. Yep. Now this is a lot of balance work, so if you can't get your legs so high, you can always just do a little tap or a smaller lift. Feel free to adjust any way you need to. Or you can go back to those legs that we did earlier on, right? Please note that everything I do, I try to adjust for all kinds of levels. So if there's ever something you see that you don't kind of get like your level of what you need to do, send me a note and say, hey, I don't know what I'm doing with this one. I'm, I need an option and please let me know what's going on and I will certainly help you out. You can message me on Facebook, you can get me on YouTube or you can send me an email through my website. Okay, last one. Bring it in, rest those shoulders, rest those wrists. Okay, let's go back to a little bit of cardio because we want to bring up that heart rate again, right? Now, I like these ones for the shoulders over here, shapely shoulders, right? And Hey, if you have a purse or a bag, you need to keep your shoulders strong to hold those, whatever you're carrying. So let's take those noodles, put them into a rainbow style here, means up and down. Again, lower in the water, a lot more resistance for that buoyancy. Otherwise, a little less right here, take them out into a jumping jack. Now for these jumping jacks, let's make them a little bit more fun because this can get boring, right? Just jumping. Let's take them to a right and a left one. So jump it right, center, and then a left into the center and then go to a right one right and in then take a left one and in yeah just make a little movement maybe you want to go faster one in each spot right you can do two in each spot however feels good and what makes you smile right and not only that know that this is churning up that water even more for you so more water churning means we're working even more. So instead of throwing another pound on our dumbbell and making a five pound into a six pound dumbbell, this is how you make things harder, a little bit more challenging in the water by making more water splash, making things move around more and going deeper, right? This is our way of adding a little extra more to those dumbbells right here. Give me some more. Bring it back one more time. And stay in the center, just jog your feet. We're gonna go back to those submersed ones because I really, really think those are so good for helping elevate the heart rate, which we all need some good cardio. And we also get a lot more toning for that middle. So put that noodle either under your arms in the front or behind your back. Get it under the armpits. Make sure you have that best posture on. Now we're gonna do two skis, two jacks because we want to make it a little bit more, right? So take it, open up those legs to a ski leg. Give me a ski, ski, open, close. Ski, ski, open, close. When you open, you're going into a jack. So take those legs wide on the open. Ski, ski, open, close. Ski, ski, open, close. Yeah, and you know what? Exercise is also good for your brain. Did you notice? If you want to get more suspended down into the water where you're not touching the bottom, sink it lower. Give me the same thing. Ski, ski, open, close. Ski, ski, open without touching the bottom. Just sink into your noodle, bend those legs a little bit, and try not to touch the bottom. It feels different, right? A few more, come on, we got this. All right, bring it in. 
feet together. We're going to go into a tricep press down with a noodle rocker, right? Woohoo! This is a big one. So keep those arms like we had before. Step your right foot forward. We're going to push down on that rocking horse. Bring it up. So we're doing triceps extensions with our rocking horse. Let's put them together, right? Yep, working those muscles. And again, this one might splash a little bit. Don't worry, your hair still looks good. Breathe it out, come on, strong breath. Push it down, on the down, pull it up. Woo! Get those arms going, come on. Now remember that noodle could have been in the front of you as well. You might feel it different in one place or the other. So if you didn't like it this way, put the noodle in front of you in the next time. Give me some more. Here's four, three, two, bring it in. Okay, take your noodle. Let's bring it all around the front and try it out that way. Because we're not only going to do another set of rockers, we're going to do something before that. So have it in front. Okay, so we're going to do some push downs on the sides. We're going to work on those obliques. So the size of your body, when you're used here of obliques like crunch, we want to work on those obliques. Now we already did some overheads. Now we're going to do some push downs on the sides. We're going to push it down with a hop pendulum. Push it down and hop pendulum. So push down, bend the knee with the other leg comes out extended to the sides of you. So we have our movement. Now you can do these statically like right in place with just the push down, but know that if you do, we're going to not be getting as much heart rate up cardio and you might get a little cooler. So if you need to keep moving, you have those legs going with me. Push it down, big breath. And we got four, three, two, last one. Bring it in. Okay, we'll jog it out, take it to the other side. You ready for the other side? Shoulders relaxing down really tight. And if you do it statically and you prefer, it's just this, down and up to the side. But that doesn't seem as fun, does it? Nope, pop it. Push it down. Push it down, you got it. Push it. I'm all about fun. I like having fun, otherwise why would I wanna do something that's not fun, right? Now, I know it's good for me, but at the end of the day, you have to make priorities and your health is important for you. So you have to make sure you find ways to find things that you enjoy to keep you healthy, right? So if you find that exercising your pool is the way that makes you healthy and move, do it. If you find doing land-based exercises are what make you happy and want to move, do it. Do what is good for your body, you guys. But all I ask for you is get out and do some kind of moving somehow. Try to get something every day if you can, if not every other day. So, so important for your health. Give me four here. Three. Last one. Bring it back around the front. Let's go to those tricep rocking horses. We're on the other leg. Remember, you're pushing down to the floor and it will feel different if it's not behind your back, in front of your back this time. So foot out in front of you, push it down, bring it up. And again, try not to bring above the surface. Maybe harder on this one with the lean. Do your best. Woo, I feel this one. And we got a few more coming. Come on, push them down. Don't just push it down. Bend and extend those elbows. Get the whole thing going. And four, three, two, last one. Bring it in. Take that noodle, widen it up, come back into that staggered wide stance. Now we did our circles before, we're gonna do our reverse circles. So find your position, shoulders relax down, circle it and bring it inward towards you. Row it in towards you, come on. Down and up. Yeah, and again, a little splashing with this one too. Water is good, don't worry. Big breath. You know, I was filming the other day and it started raining on me in here in Arizona. It doesn't rain very often and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get out of the pool. And next thing I said, wait a minute, why? And I'm wet anyway, right? <laughs> it's funny how we think sometimes, right? Keep it going. And give me two more. Last one. 
bring it in. Shake out those hands. How are you feeling out there? We are getting ready to do our warm down and our stretching. So if you need a water break, please go take that water break and then come on back. In the meantime, if you need to shake out those hands a little bit, open and close those fists. Really, really good advice. Whenever you hold any kind of tools in your hands, dumbbells, kettlebells, or your pull equipment, something, make sure those hands are happy, right? We need those hands. Okay, go get that water. Well, we have made it through a nice workout here with our noodle, but it's not over yet because you need to do your stretch and know that a stretch is a very healthy part of a workout. So let's bring our tempo down and just move. I want you to just tap a right foot behind your left foot. So you're kind of going to like a skater pattern from one side to the other. Oh yeah, just tapping behind. Your hip bones stay forward and your toe just comes off behind you. We're just gonna start stretching those hips out. Use your noodle to help support you as you go side to side. Yep, we don't want to just completely stop moving all together after a workout. A little move and slow down is a good thing. Now, as you do this, give me a little rotation. Just rotate it. Look over that foot on both sides. So look over the same side as the foot taps back. Yep, that look over your shoulder here is gonna help rotate through your middle. Give that middle a nice strong stretch. So take it to your range of motion. You can even slow it down even more. We're gonna go two more on each side. Last one here. Now we're gonna take this into a hip flexor stretch, which is a one for the very front from where the thigh meets the hip bone here. So take one foot, plant it, hold on to your noodle, bring up that front leg here, and bring your hand to your foot if you can. If you can't, just go ahead and do your lean. It's most important just to kind of get a foot up behind you and then add your lean, because we're gonna get the hip flexor, not just the thigh, which is your quads. Grab your foot if you can to add a little extra. We're always looking for the extra range of motion, aren't we? Just a little teeny bit here. Strong breathing. And again, if that noodle is going be bopping around and you're like, whoa, this is a little wavy today, let go of the foot, scold the water. That really does help to keep your balance because we want to make sure you get that stretch in. Or if that fails, take yourself to the side of the pool, hang on there. Now from here, I just want you to take that noodle underneath an arm or wherever to help support you. Take that leg that was behind you, bring it in front of you. Toes point in towards you. Now this may be enough to stretch those hamstrings and down in your calf muscles for you, but if you want it a little bit more, you can bring that leg in by holding underneath the thigh. Note again, if you need that wall or to scold the hand, please do. You can always go into this pattern here, right? Yep, and so take it where it feels right. Breathe it out real strong, and then inhale really strong. Now that same foot, take it, bring it down, crisscross your lap. It's gonna be just about the knee, a little higher than the knee if you can, and you're gonna sit by bending the other leg, the standing leg. You can always bring it up your thigh a little bit more. Just finding a nice figure four seating position. If this is bothersome to those hips for any reason, you take the other pattern, which is a lower crisscross at the ankles. When you're at those ankles, just crisscross them and then sit back into the hips and it'll open the hips a little bit, not as much, so that way you can be a little bit more safe, especially if you've had hip replacement. I'm always you know, concerned that you guys make sure you follow whatever your doctor's told you. And if your doctor hasn't told you, you know, and you've just had surgery not too long ago, make sure you ask them, because that's really important. Strong breathing. Okay, step those feet in. Let's go to the other side. We're gonna start with those hip flexors and that quad stretch. So go ahead and lean forward. Maybe you grab a hold of that foot too. 
Yep. Strong breathing, trying to really relax here because this is your cool down. So you want to make sure you breathe through your stretches. Think of everything you've accomplished, how wonderful your workout was and how good you're going to feel later, right? Working out should make you feel better after you're done. If you're feeling pretty horrible afterwards, again, that's not, that's not a good sign. So make sure you talk to your doctor, right? Okay, bring it in. Let's take that foot, bring it in front of you, going to hamstring and calf muscles, toes in front, tucking in that leg if you need to, or sculling the water. Most importantly, toes in towards you with a straight leg. Perfect. Bring that foot in, take it to where it feels right on those hips. Again, sit into as much or a little as you feel comfortable with or crisscross it down below. Still getting a nice crisscross wherever is right for you. Wonderful. Let's go to the upper body. We're just gonna take the noodle and bring it behind your back. Now, once it's behind your back, you're gonna hold on to it really close on one side. So I'm gonna have my elbow bent on the one side. My arm is long and extended on the other side. This is gonna open up the front of the chest. Your hand, put it on the back side of that noodle and push the noodle down in the water a little bit. Walk with your palm facing forward. You're gonna turn. Just a nice big circle. Yeah, and then feel that noodle putting a little resistance in the water so it feels like it's opening up that shoulder area into the chest, right? Now slowly turn around. Once you've got two revolutions around, let's go to the other side to so just adjust your noodle. Take it to the other side. Again, lengthen however you need to and take it around the other way. Oh yeah, feeling good. One more, and if you're going around faster than me, slow it down just a little bit. Once you're back to center, arms are both on here. Try to reach out to the ends of it and then reach to one side. Now you're just gonna keep those feet planted, just reach all the way out to one side, feel a little stretch. Bring it back in and then reach to the other side. Oh, feel a stretch in the sides. Bring it behind you. Just push it so that the ends of the noodles are just down into the water. Now we're gonna just look up a little bit into the sky. Don't look into the sun, just look up a little bit. Push the shoulders down and relax them. You can even walk those hands a little further behind you. Yep, just again, opening more of the chest and the shoulders. Bring your noodle in and around to the front. Hold the ends of the noodle. Think about it being in a nice, large rainbow shape. So just go ahead and settle into it. Bend those knees and round. Tuck in the tummy really strong and breathe. Go ahead and bring yourself to a tall posture. Walk that noodle in closer to you here. Hands over the front of the noodle. Just make me some fists and then open those palms. Open and close those hands a few times. Give them a little rest and recovery, right? Again, giving love to your body at the end of a workout is super important because then the rest of your day goes that much better, right? And maybe the rest of your week. I hope you enjoyed my workout. I had fun hanging out with you again. Please, if you haven't liked and subscribed to my videos yet, I really greatly appreciate it. It helps support my channel. It helps me bring these videos to you in the future. And I'm always looking for suggestions, comments, anything that you're looking for in your videos. I 
really willing to help you out to get you what you're looking for. If you're looking for some toning, a little extra booty, you know, toning or a little extra cardio, please send those suggestions and things my way. Feel free to comment below or find me on Facebook or send me an email. You guys all take care. See you real soon. Bye-bye.